my demonic power in that, England. That seems like it's a thing that alchemists just do. They just unlock demonic power in England. Um, oh, hey, folks. <laughs> Hi, this is Bobo the Vulture. I'm a serious JG, you know, I mean, I'm sure that uh, the Riza didn't mean to unlock demonic power in England, but because she's in, like, Japan slash Argentina per our last recording session Lethal and I had, she probably doesn't know she unlocked demonic power in England. That's what's going on. Meanwhile, uh, if well, she doesn't un at... know that she unlocked the Riza either, because uh, the Riza, <laughs> I think, is from L.A., but no, she, definitely she American. Is, uh, the protagonist of that game is the Riza. Now, there could be more than one Riza. I guess she's a Riza. Anyway, check check it out. Like, it seems I... like uh, her back is glowing. Can we rotate her around? Not in a way that shows her back, I guess. Well, that's unusual. But yeah, I, I think guess her there I think there's a crystal glowing out of her back. Crystal glowing on her. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I thought there's she was. Th I thought that meant that she was a founding member of the Wu Tang Clan. That was all. <laughs> The Riza. What, the crystal glowing in her back? Is that, no. is that how you can identify a founding member of the Wu-Tang Clan? So, I uh, might have crystals, but I don't have armpit hair. Alright, let's see what's going on out in this zone. Alright, now let's go. Boop. Tuxedo mask. Yeah, I hate that guy. So, sleeping beauty. You've decided to awaken. Gibble, 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 gibble. But I thought he had a good soul. He sounds like a mean guy. Jibo, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. I didn't do what? I just said hi. You didn't do this like what? Like make your ship get all goopy? How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us. How does I thought you were a food? human being. The human beings have lived on this earth to this very day! What? <laughs> I had thought about human beings! Johannes told me what they did to you. They made you wear an extra special fan of the opera mask. And you're right, that... it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. But they, like, they, I mean, they were, like, sacrificing souls and shit. I guess that is what I'm doing now, though, isn't it? Oh, well, you got me. He's the dark side of Jeebelmania. I think if you remove no. that mask, there's going to be DG gun themselves under it. DG cells. What the no. What? Sorry. Our oh, they are part of the Shuffle Alliance. <laughs> no. What a stupid fool you are. <laughs> you times infinity. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I as the king of hearts join me miriam and together we will rule sector five <laughs> you're the only one who understands the pain i feel what it's like to no longer be human what it's like to have slept this one time of all of the crystal cures i have met <laughs> you were the most human Christiali just kind of reacts. I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I didn't think you spoke English. You Convinced I was a monster. And you told me This is nonsense. You are a monster. You. I never I never helped you. I mean if I did, I was just kidding. You told me Dots! Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. And they've made us bad. I'd given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? No, that doesn't sound familiar at all. It's actually a really short game because, like, she meets him ten minutes in and he decides to stop being evil. Uh, 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 what? Here comes Gogo 13. Master Jeebel, we must return. Oh, she seems nice. I wonder who she is. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, she really is, uh, you know, uh, def deferent to uh, this Master Jeevil guy. She doesn't seem yeah. like she's... Uh... She's like a nurse who's taking care of him. Yes. Yeah. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're Let me take a nap and reminisce you. more. Then first prove you can find me. Like, if you right can there. find me, I'll totally let you kill me, though. 
<laughs> fair, fair. Found you! No, no, you have to count to ten! <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing hide and go and seek with uh, Bronco. <laughs> He's like, he doesn't understand the point of it yet. He just thinks it's to hide and then be found, so. Oh, no. He loves it, but he doesn't quite track with the rules. <laughs> yeah. It's like he goes and hides, and then he's like, all right, you count. And then you walk into the room, and he says, over here. <laughs> and then you kill him. <laughs> so that's, you know. Along the way, you will have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. Especially if you want to get a f perfect save state. If you like a perfect file. If you can claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. So, claim to be whatever. <laughs> if you go through hell and you still feel like everything's cool, then I guess I'll listen to you. There's no option here to not go to hell. <laughs> I think I even Rob Van Dam would probably not think everything's cool after that. Wait for this close-up of my breasts. Is... Oh, hey, upskirt shot there. Oh, also, there's a terrible monster trying to murder us. Let's get him out. Stay away from him. He's my boyfriend. No. Maybe I want to think about using some different weaponry here. There's uh, various ways you could go. It could be time to bust out the Muscatoon with like actual finite ammo. Because they, there are ways to replenish that finite ammo. Well, sure. Going. And also, Claymore, I might want to do your most damage if you're spending a lot of time dodging and only occasionally free to take a an attack. Or it might be start time to busting out Gale Crawlers and shit. I want to Cerulean Splash. Well, she is a water-type Pokemon, so I wonder if that's going to be... Oh, this travels across the ground. She's not on the ground. I don't know if anything of the Flame Cannon is going to do much here. Wow. I, you know. Well, let's see. Wait, how do I even use these uh, Conjure ones? It's, it's the directional. same button, but you're not doing, uh, like, the funky well, I mean, I, I think I remember the same button, but you're not doing whatever you're doing with, like, the R stick. Okay. That's classic boss pattern right there. Oh, that one hurt. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like that's easy to connect with, but it did, like, well, it did, like, two attacks worth of damage. Oh, hey guys. Hi. Do not forget you have potion. Oh, yeah, I'm only half dead. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. I want to see how many, uh, I want to see how quickly I can get Grimace to comment on my backseat driving and then give up on the let's play because he can't handle it anymore. <laughs> doing pretty well from what I remember of how much uh, how often I was getting hit I know I my I mean it's my first rodeo at this particular uh... yeah okay potion so time possibly oh that's not the right button you want to Dude, pause that's... and get I, yes menu. I I got into a menu that I could not control okay. the game from. Uh, so, let's take a look at our inventory. We got potions. Give me some life back, some sugar, tomatoes. Some sugar, baby. Delicacy. Oh, baby. Oh. So I could... Uh, eat some bronze. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, some writhing limbs. A branch? That continues its disgusting worm. Flailing. Corn has been kept use it to make more corn oh this is I didn't realize this was a farming sim mm-hmm 
It's actually a goat simulation portion later in the game, too. Let's see how that goes for us. And maybe I do want to get out. Uh, let's try the clean. Go. Oh, well, I'm glad I made that weapon change. Yeah, that was... Oh, never mind, you did win. I thought maybe you just beat one of the sub-enemies and leveled up in the middle of it all. Oh, shit! <laughs> I saw you trying to evade. Thrashing tentacle! I saw it. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Well, no, no, we had a whole that... dialogue sequence with him. <laughs> but who's to say that you are any better uh, for him than his current girlfriend is. <laughs> the one with the giant, like, demonic eye floating above her head. <laughs> Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? <laughs> Don't you? Anyway, here's Castlevania. I mean, um... <laughs> what? <laughs> Bloodstained. Bloodstained is a castle for people who are no longer capable of feeling sexual pleasure. It's just a big What's that? Was this a village? What happened to it? Is this the village that I see before me? The demon's Jeeble summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. Our contact is a demon. <laughs> All right. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Ultra reports that Jerry is about. Also, uh, yes, we can, in fact, go back to the boat. <laughs> uh... You can shuffle back to the boat if you want, or just walk. You can, what is she, like, hiding behind the bushes to relieve herself? Unless I don't you'll be careful. Just hope that she's still safe. Sniper Wolf, I hope she's safe. Well, have yourself and you'll find an errant bill. Yeah, die to my single hit. It's like a, a bigger rat. Yeah, that rat might actually count as an enemy. Level up. Man, those rats must give a lot of experience because you leveled up fighting the boss and then you leveled up immediately again from fighting a rat. Or it's possible that you were almost leveled up twice from the boss. 500 gangsters. Do a little swishy swish there. Very subtle. It's there. Mm -hmm. I think that's the wind. <laughs> oh, look at the butt cheeks on that monster. Dummy thing. Kick it. Go ahead and kick it. See. We'll kick it. Is this goof troop all of a sudden? Oh, thank do you, bap, bap, do yeah. It's Gaga 13. Oh, wait, no. You know who I am. And that means... That you bought the, uh, the, the prior game, which was a Kickstarter booster gift for uh, supporting this game. I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. Dominique? The, like, dominatrix boss of the... Which was that, the... Uh... Double Dragon 5, The Shadow Falls. The worst of all the Double Dragon games, and that's kind of saying a lot. <laughs> so this is our contact. Dominique wins. Yes, the church sent me. As Don't I look see, like I come from the I church? I thing or two about expelling demons. <laughs> uh, she had a little bit of extra stuff to say there. And didn't we I, just expel that demon? Uh, <laughs> so I, I like to go beyond the, the dialogue written for me on screen. <laughs> An exorcist. And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. This is like the exact opposite of Dokapon Kingdom, where like they'll say like the first three words of um, what their dialogue window is. An exorcist, and the church then. you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. Hey, no church, church you. you <laughs> yeah, church you. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important, but you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger. Dots. But she deserves to be armed with all the facts. 
I deserve to be armed with like a semi-auto pistol, not this yeah, thing. Miriam, I gotta keep... Miriam needs to be armed with all the facts. She does her own research. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Uh huh. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. During our interview. What? You spoke to him. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't bother to tell you about that. Oh yeah, like that whole you know how we like crashed and there was a giant sea monster outside? Yeah, like that was that was what that was all about. Look, do I need to give you constant right updates? I find it curious that the outpouring of demons facilitated by one shard binder just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other shard binder after exactly ten years. In other words, this is actually your fault, hero. Well, you know, Somehow. it's like they say, One shot but it leads to another, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, it is strange. But the church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. You're right, there is something unusual about this horde of demons pouring out of an unknown hell realm. Oh, do you decide for her then? Oh, snap! I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. The church now is all about knows. consent. Exactly. And now she knows, thanks to her informed choice, that vaccines will magnetize her blood. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. I'll leave that to uh, you don't the other guy. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. And yet I feel like Jeebel would be you, okay Miriam. with you not stopping him. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Let me you give you a shoulder tats. rub. <laughs> you, your shoulders do have sweet tats, though, I must say. Um, pardon me. Hey, what's going on, short stuff? Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. We it's just kind of did. You don't, it's just that you don't have massive breasts, so we didn't register you as a character. Well, I suppose right, the men don't you. have massive breasts. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Nope. <laughs> Nobody ever goes that way. Anne. Blimey! What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Let me take you, you shouldn't to some place where you can be murdered. <laughs> you shouldn't be out here. You should have been in one of the collapsed burning buildings. <laughs> oh, all right. Blimey. Come on, this way. Hmm. He has to run to keep up with Dominic. I guess I'll just hang out out here then. With the giant rats. Yeah. 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 Oh. I did some looking around before, and this place. Seems secure. Mm -hmm. Yes, agreed. There's no it way the seems that way. giant Maybe monster that Anne tore up a ship could get in here. here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. We'll be what in contact we... via codec. Yes, <laughs> I was actually going to go with the frequency, but sure. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone. She needs the help of us, characters who don't fight and occasionally have dialogue. Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? You don't even have a warrior, Moo Moo. You've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn. We can't help her. We're blonde people wearing glasses. We would only get in the way. Mm -hmm. But that's not the point. Although It'll it's definitely fine, true. Worries. Please don't worry. I have infinite <sighs> continues. All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come what about my? Need anything? I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. What oh, what are you, the Rizza? What about me? I'm trained for combat. <laughs> I'll help her. Thank you, Johannes. They don't oh, call no, me Anne for strong, nothing. But be careful. Sure thing, Omega. Nah. <laughs> I will. All right, I've got to go help Tech and Wrecker. <laughs> You guys. Why does everyone keep leaving? Do I have like body odor or something? What are you guys not telling me? Show me the way to go, Stone. Okay, so I need you will not be allowed here. to go there until you're done with all the plot dialogue. 
I hate this wall. I know you're supposed to check every wall, but I still feel like you're just like, I hate this wall. Was this a kung fu theme? Do, 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 do. Uh, Dominique, uh, what is all this machinery? <laughs> 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 that is photographic equipment we've been working on. A summary fee? Photographic? Oh no, Beep was going to accuse me of accidentally triggering photography to mode. Images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? No. Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. Also, no. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. Be I'll just be. going to pop. I'll just pop down to the silver bromide shop located here in Castle Notvania. Oh, hello, Miss. Oh, you're looking fit as ever. It's a fair cop, Gov. Because Miriam, he's a wrestler, I guess. Welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Oh, so that's what this is. Oh, uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. <laughs> These arrangements involve me having money. Uh huh. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here. I will not complete this sentence. I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. This is not no, just I war understand. profiteering. This is end war with the demons can. profiteering. <laughs> yeah. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. You mean if I uh, accidentally? Is well, I'm trying to fart, but... even allowed? Oh yes. I didn't, so like, I, if I can successfully stop it from impaling me, I could add it to you. Oh no, I can pull it out of your body. Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. And by purified, I of course mean their demonic powers transferred to me. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. Mm -hmm. mm, I think it's better when it's a two-way street. You may uh, want to three-way street. Since thing. possessing multiple shards of the same type girl. amplifies its power, but there is a limit to how far that can go. And Basically, more nine. If you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption. That is lore, by the way. And in case you are worried, there is no gameplay downside to having a fuckload of shards. Yeah, I gotta. May accelerate, but I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I'll just I have to deal with shards counterattack. As a means of making money. All I right. recommend you don't I tell me what to do. Me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? Well, I really would you like to access? Like... Yeah, so good. Oh, sorry. Would you like to access mid-mission shopping? <laughs> it really doesn't explain everything. Where the hell are you getting these supplies from? <laughs> what are you looking to buy? What are you buying? What are you selling? Cacao. <laughs> We you can buy so so beans. Kill <laughs> kill beans. We've got gunpowder. We've got. We can buy Slimer. Um, yeah, this game gets like crazy with uh, various uh, smithing stuff you can do. So 60. Oh, there is a 32 bit coin. I was wondering. No 60. No N64 coins. Okay. Also, what the heck? These all have the exact same resolution. Expect that to uh, go on. Well, you better not support their terrible, terrible uh, nonsense by buying any. But as you can see, yeah, now it's possible to craft like these yourself. Like that. There's knives inside. Mom, the boots named after me are expensive. <laughs> uh, hey, we can get a up here. A single-handed sword designed for thrusting. We can get an pay. Morgan soon had golden moon. Oh yeah, I don't have a club yet. You could buy a club, but yeah. So the thing is, almost all of these wapets uh, can also be smithed. Um, I mean, 
you know, yeah. it's it's your your call how to use your resources. It's like if you have a favorite Wapit type, you might want to just buy the best one that's available. Although, as you can see, the there are plenty the of types that I have. The is already out of your price range, and that would be the best available uh, greatsword. Well, there are plenty of types I haven't even had a chance to use yet. Yes, that is true. Buy a I could get a blunderbuss that uh, I guess would double my gunning. I could get a circlet. I get a a gobbo hat. I mean, if you ask me, which you know you, if you haven't, I I would just kind of wander around and not buy anything until you start coming across. Uh, you know, you, you're gonna find stuff in treasure chests. You could, you could buy a blunderbuss and then immediately be just handed a blunderbuss by the game. You can ah. sell stuff, but. I think it's the standard, uh, you get half of what you would have bought it for rules. What are you looking to sell? Show me the way to go, Stone. All right, so... And there does come a point where you are going to want to use alchemy to make shit and then sell it for more than the ingredients cost you and blah blah. There's all sorts of min-maxing tricks that are there I don't want to sell any shards yet, but I am interested. Okay. I was interested They're... to see how much they sell for. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. You sure you don't want to sell it to me? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. But they haven't shown up. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time. They all have Think the troubles. Think of side quests, because that's what they are. Oh, yeah, the troubles. Oh yeah, side quests, basically. Yeah, well, I hope the ones that belong to my church, not the ones that belong to the other very similar church. I'll mm -hmm. do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. And that for... costs money, too. <laughs> and for a healthy bed. Yeah, in, in like, maybe at the very beginning, selling shards might be cost-effective. Uh, but overall, no, it is not a good way to make money. Oh, Miriam, would you like to come to the right and visit me? I can't even look at you right now. I'm gonna jump backwards until I'm close enough to talk. Jump back and kiss myself. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. They appear to have provided you a demonic summoning circle. So that's great. <laughs> I know it's incredible. This this empty room they've given us that has nothing to do with them is so awesome. <laughs> they've provided you a chalkboard. So what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But it's almost like alchemy. alchemy. Is easier to show you than explain. Uh -huh. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. Look, I've known you for years. I'm familiar with the concept of alchemy. Oh, whatever. So, what'll it be? He can cook meals. He can enhance shards. You can make your thrashing tentacle better by using writhing limbs. Um, the could. same thing. So, Although, so the way this tends to work is you level these things up. Levels one to two involve like some ingredient. Then two to three involve more of the same ingredient. Three to four might involve the same ingredient again. But eventually you're going to hit a point where an ingredient that doesn't drop till later in the game replaces the ingredient. So it's like you can farm those guys for writhing limbs and probably level that thing up to like three or four out of nine if you wanted to. But you're not going to ever be able to like max out. You, there's very few things you'll be able to max out before you're deep into the game. Yeah. But anyways, it gave me specific items in theory because it probably wants to do crap. It wants you to craft specific things, yeah. Oh, no. I figured he was going to talk and be like, no, select the item that you want. Matt, no, he's just like, not. here's some shit if you want to make some shit. <laughs> Give you enough iron and bronze to make, like, you know, a katana if you want. You can make, like a pirate hat, pirate hat. make a pirate hat. I mean, who wouldn't want one? Oh, well, that's a... There's uh... probably, like, an... There's probably, like, an optimal best value you can get out of those things. Um, but you can probably just kind of do whatever the hell you want. This stuff. Oh. Okay, so I guess <laughs> they did figure out alchemy. It's just... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, make, like, gold, honestly, uh, if I remember right, gold is a thing 
Okay, so so they have that like dismantle mechanic. That does you need an ingredient to do that. And now I'm remembering that room where I was like finding the, that that ghost thing was flying around, and I was like, oh shoot, I remember this room. Yeah, they they rarely drop the thing you use for dismantling. And gold, much later in the game, if you have the time and inclination to grind, there are enemies who drop gold, and you can use that to get, like, dark matter and mercury and use that for other stuff. You never really want to go the other way. Also, gold, unex you know, unshockingly, sells for a lot of money. <laughs> and now you can see why it would be worthwhile, potentially, to buy those, those different coins, because you can use them to get these goofy wappets. So there's all kinds of interesting things up here. Yeah. These obviously are ones that mm, a long time from now I might be able to get. Ah. No, so. my suggestion would be to just play play around and see if you can get the like most basic low level crappy version of different wappets and and when you've sort of figured out one or two wappets you like put some resources into getting like a second or third tier version of that wappet. Whereas with armor, like, yeah, like, wander around a little bit and make sure there's not a pirate hat waiting in a treasure chest, like, as soon as you leave the village. But armor is pretty safe by. You're not going to be like, oh, shit, I got a pirate hat. I should have gotten a, uh, you know, a miter. <laughs> okay, so the necklace. I've decided same, same. instead of wearing hats, I want to wear, like, you know, uh, headbands. <laughs> I'm going a different direction here. Only takes two cotton, so it's and obviously this gets you a lot more defense, but uh, you don't get all the other little And boosties. bear in mind, the number on the right is how many you will have left over after. So if you use those two cottons to make a chenille, anything else that involves cotton, you won't be able to make right now. I'll be able to make a pirate hat. Right. Oh no. You can make two pirate hats. <laughs> I kind of want a nadachi. I mean, the dull blade is cheaper. But it's just that I don't use one of my bronzes. Otherwise, it's the same. Oh no, it's iron. Oh yeah, iron, iron, and bronze. Yeah, I'm gonna iron make it sharpens iron with Bobo the Vulture. I'll go with this. There, all done. And I'll make a shimmies. I'll go with this. Ooh, I like it. Ooh. Ooh. A limousine. Now, bear in mind, like, so what, what I would suggest, what I would, have, I was suggesting not bothering to make anything. Although I guess you needed to do it for him to feel worthwhile. Yeah. But uh, like, as far as like, I would check and see like what item slots do you have nothing for. And I think because you you didn't want to use that safe ring because it had a negative. I think you have like an equipment Once slot I where you don't have anything. An item, I thought I had two. Right. Or, Meek, so she maybe, can I, maybe I'm wrong. The supply post for you. Oh. Okay, yeah, and you can you can actually buy shit for just regular old coins once you've transmuted it once. If it's not already something, you can just purchase for coins. I had forgotten that. That's oh, so if you want extra in. of any. Well, that's I'll that that can be important for like min max you strategy. Materials. Because you might want to craft something and then buy it and then uncraft it. Uh, using alkalest or whatever it's called, and then sell the components that were worth more than the. Uh, like, there's, there's different stuff you can look up for ways to, you know, get yeah. money out of the system. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. It's almost like it is mine. <laughs> if he doesn't read the formula, he won't know what it says. When it comes to items I don't know about, you're going to have to do my job for me. I understand. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard so? requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. But not also, because you told me to. Neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder. Considering the struggle we've been through to survive, it He's means I keep ending up running out of time out of the evening and going to going to in and out. 
If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With you proper nutrition cook? and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Uh huh. Psst! Eating a new food for the first time will provide Miriam with a stat boost. Oh, I like that. That's Not the slow longest attack rate, range. Isn't it? Nice attack yeah, I think there's a, there's a lot of weapons in this game that are kind of a little different from another weapon in terms of its swing. Yeah. But, um... So it really does come down to, if you find a new weapon and it's not the same class as what you've been using, but it's significantly better, I found myself switching back and forth depending on, you know, what had I most recently found that was a decent tier. Okay. Um... But uh, we're over time here, but uh, since mm. he was doing his little uh, explanation, I didn't want to interrupt him. Oh, yeah. So when we I come back next time, uh, we'll uh, find some other stuff to do. But uh, I am yeah. Bo the Vulture. I am Sirius JGG. And this is uh, Let's Play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to alchemize some In-N-Out burgers, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>